the wizarding world. Got anything in your case that might... Yes. Grab that cash with both hands and make a stash. New car caviar for Star Daydream. I think I'll buy me a basket. H cuties, does cash rule everything around you? Do you have your mind on your money and your money on your mind? Do you want to be a billionaire so freaking bad? Buy all the things you never had? Do you want to be in the cover of Forbes magazine smiling next to Oprah and the Queen? Well, what better way to start? Then I win some money for nothing. All right, basically nothing. You're just gonna answer a series of trivia questions right here on HQ, the Live Mobile Game Show, where you answer questions to win cash. I'm your host on the Gold Coast, HQ McDuck, Jeff Pezos, Dollar Bills Gates, this guy Zuckerberg, Mark H. Cuban, Scott Rogowski, live from the greatest city on earth, the city that never sleeps, Dallas, Texas, with over. 480,000, nearly a half a million age cuties live right now, including Alyssa, Alexis, Jake, and Tushy Face in Dallas, Eli and Sydney making chicken sog in Fort Greene, Mishness, Caroline's mom, Sandra, Mrs. Chappelle, Caroline in New Jersey, crushing it in the lax field, Ethan's sister, Elle, Marion Kent, Mazel Tov, Boise and Dayton, those are names and cities, IU alum, Amy Lavelle, and happy birthday, AP Mike. We have a big show tonight, but first some big news to announce. You've been asking for it, and now we're giving it to you. On November 14th, we're partnering with the new movie, Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald, to bring you back to Hogwarts for a special evening of quizzarding. It's HQ Trivia, Harry Potter edition, and the prize is much more than cash, ladies and muggles. Yes. One lucky winner will get the experience of a lifetime, becoming one of the first in the world to see the new movie with all your friends. You get to invite your friends to a private screening party. That's right, the whole theater will be yours. You and your pals in the seats, Eddie Redmayne and creepy Johnny Depp on the big screen, popcorn and soda on us. You want full bucket size? Go for it. Go crazy. That's a week from Wednesday, November 14th, 9 p.m. You could, why save it? You, you can use it tonight, too, you know. Do you have an extra life? Play five days in a row to get one. Refer your friends with your code. Or you can buy one right now for tonight's game. Extra life's keeping the game. When you get a question wrong, you can use them once per, not in the final round. That's, I think, all the rules on that. So let's get to tonight's quiz, huh? I'm asking 15 questions tonight. If you answer all 15, you're going to be walking away with a share of our grand prize 25,000 biscuits, 25,000 beans, 25,000 bones, 25,000 buckaroos. You know what you can do with that kind of dough? Hmm, maybe you should ask someone who has 25,000 spilling out of his pockets right now. He's a bona fide billionaire, a card carrying member of the Three Comma Club, Mr. Mark Cuban. Hello, sir. What up, Scotty? Welcome to my tiny, Whoa. tiny screen. Get close, get close. <laughs> Hug me. Hug me. Oh, oh there he is. How about this? This guy. Thanks for having me. Yeah. This is amazing. Uh, this is amazing. Now, it's got to be, I have to ask, it's, it's got to be annoying being known for having money, right? You must get hit up no, all the time. No, what a no? great problem to have. Yeah. I mean, people ask me for money all over the place, and it's okay. I mean, except in the urinal, then it's a problem. You can't pee in public anymore. I cannot pee in public. Well, I would never ask you for money. You'll never hear that from me. Yeah. I make over four figures a year, okay? I'm doing just fine. You're killing it. Uh, it must be really annoying also getting pitched shark tank ideas like when you're outside the tank, you know? 
yeah, just but I just say you can't pitch me because then you can't be on the tanks. So. That's right. Save it for the show. Save it. Well, I am going to be guilty of that right now. You know, the original Scrub Daddy, he yep. came on Shark Tank, Aaron? Yep. Yeah, well, I'm the original Quiz Daddy. Yes, okay? you are. And here's my pitch for you, all right, Mark? Mm -hmm. An app where you answer questions to win cash. What do you think? I think it's the best idea ever. Yeah. Do you know anybody who's done that? I, I, I want to try this tonight. Oh. I got cool. some questions to run by you. Can I pitch some questions? Yeah, up? let's see how it goes. All right. Well, Biggie said mo money, bro problems, but as you said, good problems to have. Who's going to be in the high fidelity first class tra traveling set tonight? Yeah, Lion and the Lamb. What a best eternal plan. If you were a wealthy H cutie. Yeah, da 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 da. Yeah, I don't die, 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 I don't die. Let's find out. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's get this big billionaire show on the road. Here's my first pitch, Mark. Go. It's a question about sports. Okay. What do you think? I like sports. Cumero numero uno. Which of these is a play that happens in basketball? Home run, slam dunk, or punt return? That's hard. You like this one? Yeah, this is hard. This is hard? This is hard. This is supposed to be easy. I start them easy. I know, but please. Bob Curland, he invented the slam dunk. So, it's, so they say 1944. You know this guy? Yeah, everybody knows Bob Curl. Oklahoma State. It was Oklahoma a and back then. He got the ball into the basket, reached up, and stuffed it in for the first slam dunk. Now there's an entire contest around it. There's, there's NBA Jam video games. It's, it's amazing. It's I mean, amazing. What's, what's better than a dunk? And Look at this guy. Oh! Look at this guy. hey yo! I know that guy. <laughs> That's one of your guys. Dennis Smith Jr. <laughs> jumps out of the gym. 521,763 are slamming that one home. slam a jam -a. All right, here's another pitch for you, Mark. Okay. It's Q2. It's about exotic animals. Mm -hmm. Do you think this is going to work? Mm. A tigan. A tigan is a real animal hybrid that is half tiger and half what? Lion, wolfen, or hummingbird? That is going to be interesting. Yeah? Um, Have you seen Napoleon Dynamite? Yes. He was obsessed with ligers, you know? Male lions, female tigers. But if you crossbreed a male tiger and a female lion, well, don't come a knocking because they're making tigans. Talk about being a tiger in the sack, Mark. 503,000. It's a real thing. Tigans. They're, they're rare, but real. 503,283 knew them. So that's a lot of smart people. Smart people, but still kind of easy. It's Q2. Yeah, okay. Lions and tigers, HQDs. Oh, my. Here's a pitch for you. A real, a real new idea here, Mark. Okay, a theme show about a popular 90s television show that got a second life on streaming services, a whole new generation of fans. What do you think? A friends theme night? Do you like that? Like real friends? Like, like they like, talk to each other? Like they're friends on the show, I think in real life. It's friends theme night. You know, Ross, Rachel, Chanandler, Bong. Yes. The other ones? Yes. This Thursday, Joey? 9 p.m., Joey, Phoebe, Monica. <laughs> I know them. That's this Thursday night, guys. Friends trivia. But right now, we're back to tonight's quiz. Mark, this is a, a grammatical question. Okay. Do you like grammar? I l yeah, kind yeah. of. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have a good, a good synonym for kind of? Kind of. Sort of. Should have. Should have. Could have. Q3. Which of these is a synonym for the word cold? Cold cut, frigid, or bold? Is this, is, do, do you get this one? Do you yeah, get this one? I, I kind of get it's it. Gonna it's going to be cold, cold, <laughs> cold, cold, cold. <laughs> Who's Chilly. heating up tonight? Do you know what a synonym means? A synonym is the antonym of an antonym. I thought it was a bun. <laughs> a, syn a synonym bun. Mm, there's an idea. A, syn right? a, a synonym, synonym bun. bun. The other bun is the same as the other bun? A grammar-themed bakery. Let's do it, Mark. I like it. I just need a, like 500K. We'll get this going. I'll call you. All right. This is a word. A synonym. A word with the same meaning as another word. You'll learn about it in our new chain of cinnamon bun stores. The only word here that means the same as cold is frigid. What's cooler than being cool? Frigid. 492,576 heating up. If you want to invest in our line of, of grammar bakeries, uh, Bring it. 10%. percent What? How does it work? 10% equity? I'll give you $500,000 uh, yeah. for 98%. 98%. I'll take and, it. And other people can buy the other 2%. I'll, I'll take it. Done. Done. I don't care. Q4. In his debut game, Donkey Kong primarily uses what as weapons? Laser beams, barrels, or turtles? The OG Donkey Kong. I think I grew up on this game. You, and I, Still, I'm horrible. Yeah. Were you the king of Kong? Did you? I, I, I was not ever the king of anything <laughs> in the games. Except, you know, making yeah. money. Now you're, now you're the king uh, of making know, money. That's not a bad thing. Not a bad thing. Almost all moving objects are deadly to Jumpman, Jumpman, Jumpman. That boy's on to something, a.k.a. Mario, in his first appearance there. There are tubs of cement, out-of-control springboards, but the primary dangers are fireballs and barrels being dropped by the damn dirty ape. Barrels. 
is the answer. Q4, 469,807 shooting fish in a barrel They're tonight. They are killing it right now. But this is where it starts to get hard, Mark. All right, let's go. This is my pitch right here for Q5. All right. It's a math question. Oh, no. We had grammar with synonyms. Math. Here it is, Q5. What is 1 million times 1 billion? Million. <laughs> billion, trillion, or zillion? 1 million times 1 million. Get out your calculators! A milli, a milli, a milli. Now, do you do your own accounting? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah, count it. Shark Tank, all the money, all the time. Is it like a, Scro is it like a Scrooge McDuck situation? Do you have a bathtub full of coins? No, I have a wheelbarrow. Wheelbarrow. <laughs> I'll push that around for you if you need to. Yeah. Listen, guys, multiplying powers of 10 is pretty easy, right, normally, but these are big numbers. You All right, let's see if I can win them back. Q6, what species is Swiper on Dora the Explorer? Ferret, fox, or weasel? Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. This confuses me, okay, because Swiper's got a long torso and short little limbs. It's very weasel-like. Not to mention, he's a weasley little critter, you know, committing crimes, talking nasally accents. But go figure, he's a fox. Oh, man. Oh man, you're too late. 185,809 are right on time. Ooh, Foxy HQDs. Bow, 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 bow. You're getting Q7. What was the setting for most of the action in the last Back to the Future film? 1950s, the Old West, or the 21st century? 21st century schizoid man. Every scene in the entire trilogy takes place within the city limits of the fictional Hill Valley, California, of course, but different eras. Back to the future, in the past, back to, it's complicated. A DeLorean malfunction at the end of part two propelled Doc Brown backwards in time to 1885 when Biff's ancestor terrorized the Old West. We're going straight to the wild, wild west. 113,517 wild and out. You know your Back to the Future films. Do you know your social media logos? Q8, the Twitter logo was named for a longtime player on which NBA basketball team? Boston Celtics, Philadelphia 76ers, or Los Angeles Lakers? The Twitter logo is a bird named Larry after the one and only Larry Bird who's feathery blonde stash helped bring the Larry O'Brien trophy to Boston three times. Times in the uh, Robert Parrish, uh, Danny Ainge, you know, Dennis Johnson, Tiny Archibald, 57,367. Knew this one, not to mention Larry Bird, Olympic Dream Team, and Space Jam. Larry's not white, Larry's clear. We got Q9 for you. Which of these massive companies once sold noodles as its main product? Honda, Samsung, or Alibaba? These days, this company is the 14th largest in the world with a market cap over 300 billion, enough to make Mark Cuban jealous even. In the mix with everything from apartment buildings to toilet seats and smartphones. But in the early days, Samsung was mainly about selling cheap food, particularly noodles. Noodle, 35,675. We have an OG HQD named Noodles, don't we? I remember that name from the early days. Q10, which river has two national capitals right across from each other? The Danube, Congo, or the Nile? It ain't just a river in Egypt, but in this case, I'm asking about that river in Egypt. Nearly 200 national capitals are spread out across the world. You know, the earth is so big, usually they're far from each other, but there's only one pair of capitals that can see each other across a river. Brazzaville and Kinshasa waving to each other across the Congo.
Cuban went to Indiana University. How about that? But that has nothing to do with this question. Listen, if, 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 if you know this from memory, you're probably playing too much Monopoly. But how could you forget the lovely red group there? Kentucky, Indiana, yeah. Illinois Avenue. Avenues is Tennessee Avenue with New York and St. James Place in the oranges. Ooh, 11,710. Not bored of this game. You got this one right, and you're inching ever closer to $25,000 prize. There are just three questions left. Q12, what is the only film adaptation of Stephen King's work to win any kind of Oscar? The Shawshank Redemption, Misery, or The Shining? Okay, four questions left. You get this one and then three, okay? Gee. For this one. Why don't you tell the good people out there what the answer is? The answer is broadcast.com. That's right. You sold broadcast.com to Yahoo for 5.7 $5. billion. $5.7 dollars. I thought it was 5.9, but hey, what's, what's another? Same difference, what's 200 you know? million? 4,510 of you got that one. Mark, you're back in this. Is this I'm being, back. You're still interested? Oh, I love In my this. product here? Um, oh. Let's go to the next question. Okay, okay. Here's a question about um, about uh, construction materials. Okay. Doesn't sound sexy, but it is fun. Q14, the penultimate question. Which of these is not a common type of screw that fastens items together? Onion, mushroom, or cheese? You see, it combines food and building materials. Is it not like an omelet? You could make an omelet with these screws. A great omelet. I, I, I don't think you'd want to eat this one. Look, you could also put these on pizzas, right? I mean... Uh, 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 or you could build a pizzeria with a cheese head screw. Cheese heads aren't just for Packers fans. No, it's a screw. Mushroom head screws, yeah. also screws, but onions? Onions, 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 onions. No, 2,461. Oh. You knew this one. You've tamed the screw. The rest of you crying. You had a screw Ryan. loose. Oh, oh no. the onions. The onions making you cry. The onions making you cry. And the fact that they were one question away from answering 25,000. Oh, that, no. That's also probably making them cry. So close. So it close. So far away. But no e-cig. You got to answer one more question for the 2,461 players left in the game. It's Q15. The final round mark. <gasps> it all boils down to this $25,000. Do big payoff. Do you want to double it? Do, do you want to just, do you want to match it, Mark? No. <laughs> I'll match it. Um, I've got, I've got. Can't even tell me to bring my checkbook. I've got $3 in my wallet. I will throw oh, in another. I'll match that. I'll, okay, he's going to match three, so this is for 25006 <laughs> Queen 15, who was the first non-mythical woman to appear on official U.S. currency? Pocahontas, Susan B. Anthony, or Martha Washington? Yes, yes. Uh, We're asking about money. Asking uh, about money on the final question here. Who gets paid? Who's getting paid? Who's walking away? An official U.S. currency. That's right, official U.S. currency. Because, you know, some guy could have made up his own thing. No, we're like... No. No. This is real. In 1886 and again in 1891, the U.S. Treasury issued $1 silver certificates featuring our first lady, our first first lady, Martha Washington. She remains the only woman with a portrait on a bill, but the first to appear in any capacity, and that's what I'm asking about here, would be Pocahontas. On a $20 bill in the 1860s. There she is. There she is. Susan B. Anthony, Helen Keller, Sacagawea. They came later. Pocahontas for the win. A savage Q Q15. 421 winners, baby. We did it. Whoa. Woo!
Have you ever heard the wolf cry in a blue corn moon? Or ask the willow why he's bad? Sonic, it's Pocahontas, right? Can you paint with all the colors of a rainbow? Can you win HQ 421 if you did? $59.38 owned to each one of you. Swanky Blow, 76 AG80, Skip Morale, CRW29, Scroll, John Mullaney. Is that really John Mullaney? Probably not. Asian Equa something. And Josh F26, a little kitty cat there. Just just south of 60 bucks. Benjamin, Don Case, Chicken Mouth. Muzzle Dog! Muzzle Dog! Yasha you did it! Yeah. Respect to all of you. Mark Cuban, what do you think? I think this is amazing. Yeah, we did Money, it. our new investors. Are, are we got some new, yeah, maybe you can invest that money in, uh, in, in, in our cinnamon bun. A cinnamon cinnamon so you can learn <laughs> language and grammar. And get fat. And get fat. Yeah, get carb, carb load. And, and, and you've got a TV show, aren't don't you? Yeah, on Sunday nights on ABC, there's a show called Shark Tank, oh, where wow. if you really want to learn about money and just see people get rich, Sunday night on ABC. And if you want to H Cuban tonight. We are H Cuban. Yeah. All in. And I thought you were going to give me the C. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to sign off. I'm going to sign off tonight. And I want to say to you, Mark, if you really are a billionaire, give me the secret billionaire's handshake. I thought you already knew it. Uh, no, okay, I'm trying to.